FIFA Football Mondial recently went to the Coupe de l'Outre-mer, the tournament for France's overseas territories. The defending champions were Martinique, a Caribbean island whose political status means that currently it's not a member of FIFA, but it is a member of the regional confederation, CONCACAF, and is an active and successful participant in local competition. Football is the major sport in Martinique. People follow it with a great deal of passion. That's on the local level, the domestic league and the cup too. And then when we play in competitions like the Coupe de l'Outre-mer, the people back home all follow it. And when we're playing in the final, the whole country watches the game on television. Martinique is one of three major French territories in the Caribbean, along with Guadeloupe and French Guiana. Its inhabitants are French citizens, and plenty with Martinique heritage have represented Les Bleus, Thierry Henry being just one example. Perhaps the most successful Martinique-born player was Gérard Jeanvion. The centre-back won 40 caps and was part of France's great 1982 squad and there's been a real effort to produce even more talent on the island in recent years. There isn't a lot of infrastructure for young players at the clubs, but we hope we'll soon have a youth development centre for kids who are 12 to 13 years old. We should have that ready in about two years, with the assistance of the French Football Federation. The regional confederation has admitted us, and maybe FIFA will too one day, which would allow us to try to qualify for the World Cup. To big project. We hope one day we'll become a full federation. It's a day we impatiently await, because we'd like to show that Martinique can play at the highest level and participate in global competition. 24-year-old centre-forward Kevin Passama has had a couple of spells in the lower leagues of the French mainland, but now he's back on Martinique, playing for a local club while spearheading the island's national squad. We're known for being highly technical in the way we play. That might be the case at a certain level. But in some competitions, there are teams that are tactically better. So we can't just rely on our technique. Then we turn to our physical strength and aggression. So when we play teams who are very strong, we can revert to a type of football that's more defensive, aggressive and tactical, if necessary. As well as winning the Coupe de l'Outre-mer in 2010, Martinique have been champions of the Caribbean on three occasions, most recently in 1993. They've been in the Gold Cup, the premier CONCACAF tournament, three times as well. And it means they've been able to test themselves against the likes of Mexico and the USA. I think the football in Martinique is developing. We've won a few tournaments. We won the Coupe de l'Outre-mer two years ago and reached the final again. And we've got the Caribbean and Gold Cup coming up. Although our football might be of amateur status, we've still got some really good players. So where next? Réunion, the winner of this year's Coupe de l'Outre-mer, is an associate member of the African Confederation. And the fact that its clubs can now take part in continental tournaments has been an undoubted boost. And who knows, political evolution has allowed the likes of New Caledonia and Tahiti to become full members of the world body. Perhaps that lies in Martinique's future. I hope that football continues to develop here, just as it has in Réunion, where it's been at a semi-pro level for a few years now. I think that football has a great deal of importance in Martinique. We have some infrastructure, but it's not geared towards football, not in terms of it being televised, nor are there many other forms of communicating the game. There isn't much money in it either, but if we can find the funds and work on it, then I think football can really develop here in a positive fashion in the next five to ten years.